Forty-five years ago, a very special race took place. More than 200 men and women set out into the Baja Desert, driving their macho machines all day and all night in the longest, toughest, and most dangerous race in the world. Racing fans, what you've just seen are snippets from a film that was shot at the 1969 Mexican Baja 1000 off-road race. I'm Igor, the producer of this project. And I'm Vanessa, social media director. So if you're a fan of the 1960s fashion, music, and vintage cars, you're going to love what you see on this film. Yes. When I spoke to the director, Jack Cooperman, he told me some really great stories about everything they had to go through to shoot this thing. It was not the sophistication that today's races have. There was no roads back then. There was no hotels, they were sleeping in tents, and they were able to pull it all off with no GPS. No cell phone. And that's so dangerous. They're exposed to coyotes, snakes, scorpions, and who knows what else. This is the region of Baja known as, as the, the Devil's, Devil's Playground. Playground. We have a lot of great people on there. We have uh, celebrities as well. Parnelli Jones. Who's Parnelli Jones? James Garner. James Garner. Anytime you get two guys on a horse or a bicycle or a tricycle or an automobile or whatever, they're going to race. And another actor you may have heard of, Steve McQueen, who drove the infamous buggy, the Baja Boot. Do you remember the Monkees? The TV show from the 60s starring Mickey Dolenz, Peter Tork, and Davy Jones? And this guy, Mike Nesbitt. Well, he was also in the race. He drove the 1969 Triumph motorcycle the entire 1,000 mile course and lived to tell about it. This morning for breakfast, I had two eggs, over easy, okay, a bowl of Wheaties, and a half a quart of vodka. You know, even with the professionals like Pernelli Jones or the actors like Jim Garner, or Steve McQueen. They were just like all the other people. It was just a real easygoing, laid back, fun event. The Mexican Baja 1000 has always maintained a family atmosphere. Now, spanning three generations, it brings together young and old racing fans to a four day rally from Ensenada to La Paz, known as the happiest race on earth. It's an experience they will never forget, and one that's not found anywhere else in the world. 